So today we're going to be smoking out or tinting the fog lights on the Jeep Wrangler. Pretty easy to do. I thought about just buying smoked fog lights, but that's a heck of a lot more expensive than what I'm doing. Let me show you first of all what I'm talking about. You'll see this one is missing uh, because I've already done it. And this one I have to take out and do yet. So you can see it's just a clear fog light. Now to take these out, it's pretty simple. There are two screws and they're in the back. Let's see, you see those clips there? One up here, right there. And one down here, right there. That's where those screws came out. And then of course you just unplug the connector. Now, yours might be a little different depending on your configuration, but generally the fog lights are held in the same way. Now, as far as the tent goes, I just used an adhesive back tent. I just happened to have this around from another project I did. You can find this stuff on Amazon or anywhere. I mean, it's not hard to find. And what it looks like is this. And I'm going to show you how to do that. You don't have to be too concerned about the edges. You notice my edges aren't exactly perfect because you can't see them. Once you put the fog light back in, you'll not be able to see those edges. The biggest concern is making sure you don't have any air bubbles. Uh, and that's really pretty easy to do with this adhesive stuff. So not too complicated. And by the way, I am not a professional tenter for sure. This is an art if you do anything bigger. So let's go ahead and get the other fog light out and then I'll show you how I did it. Okay, first thing you want to do obviously is clean off the light. Helps if you have a vise or something to hold the, the light in there when you're working on it. Makes things much easier. So I'm going to go ahead and squirt a little bit of my soapy concoction on there. And then, as I said, you just want to clean it off. Looks like we have, I don't know what, a pretty resilient bug on there. And after this, even better, and I didn't do this on the first one, but it's not a bad idea to go ahead and put some rubbing alcohol on there just to clean it up a little bit. Make sure that you have plenty of room. My camera doesn't seem to be showing on my screen. Anyway, you just want to clean it off real good. And then let's grab a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Just going to wipe it off real quick. This is a pretty uh, simple mod, by the way. I mean, again, I'm not a professional uh, tenter, so you don't have to be to do this, that's for sure. I'm only cleaning it off with the rubbing alcohol to make sure that I have a, a really good uh, application or a really uh, clean surface so that we get good adhesion with the film. That's it for that. And the rubbing alcohol dries really quickly so it's not like you have to sit and wait for an hour after you do that. Give ourselves some room. Got quite a mess over here. Now, we want to make sure that you get the same color. I have dark and then I have uh, a lighter color and I think I went with this color. Uh, it looks like these three are all the same anyway, so that's what I'm going to do on this side. Now, it is adhesive backed as I mentioned, so we're going to just go ahead and lay it on there. And that's pretty much it for putting it on. I mean, again, it's, it's not real complicated. So, let's go ahead and lay this on. You just want to make sure that you can uh, encapsulate the whole thing, obviously. And then I just kind of begin in the center and kind of work my way out. And if I see any bubbles, then this stuff's pretty forgiving. You can peel it up a little and uh, remove any bubbles. But you get the idea. You just want to smooth it out so that it's nice and uh, uniform, I guess, across the surface. All right, once you have it all stuck on like so, and if you have any trouble, you can heat this up a little bit with a hair dryer. I don't think that's really necessary, but we're going to make a cut from the outside to the edge, and I'm just using an X-Acto knife for this, but right to the edge of the fog light like so, 
and then kind of peel this back a little bit and just start cutting. I'm going to make sure you get it right on the edge, obviously. And just kind of saw is what I'm doing. You don't want to push too hard against the light because if you're using a sharp enough knife, which you need to be for this, you obviously don't want to start cutting into your fog light. So, just kind of go around the edge until you get to the other side. And that's really all there is to this. That's it. That takes the uh, excess off, I guess. All right, now you just want to go all the way around, make sure that you're good and adhered on the edges you just cut. Again, not too complicated. And this is the point where you would remove any air bubbles if you had any. Uh, I really only had that one little one in the start, very small. This is awesome, and hopefully I've matched the colors. I think I did. It looks pretty good to me. And one tip I'll give you. You notice I have this lighter color and this darker color. This lighter color is a lot darker once you put it on than it appears. So just beware. If you go with this really dark color, you're going to end up with a really dark application. So if you don't want that, make sure you use the lighter option uh, when you're picking out whatever film it is you want to use and that's it so now we'll go back over to the Jeep and uh, put this back or both of them back on and I'll let you see what it looks like Okay, it is finished let's take a look there's what the front of the Jeep looks like now with the smoked out fog lights check those out Pretty simple project, I mean really without filming and talking to a camera, you probably could do this job in about 15-20 minutes, half an hour let's say. Pretty darn simple. Again, to get the overlays, any adhesive backed tint in the shade or color that you want will work. Much, much cheaper than uh, buying new lights, I gotta say that. And notice, she does have the smoked out indicators in the front and they now match so I got a little lucky there and that the tent seems to be the same came out really well last thing to do is fire it up and let you see it all lit up okay it's kind of loud this Jeep is really loud but here's what it looks like uh, with all the lights on and I know it's bright outside but there you go you can see they light up well um, she does have extra lighting up here as well so uh, you know, let me go ahead. I'll turn on all the lights for you and let you see what it looks like with everything lit up here. There's the headlights, her extra fog lights, if you will, down here, and then the tinted lights in the front. Came out really well. I think it looks really good. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Better to do this or just go ahead and buy the whole light and spend a lot more money. I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.